Hey you, what is going on guys and welcome back to another League Racing highlight video on my channel. I hope you're all doing well and you're having a great day. And I might enhance this a little bit with hopefully this video. So yeah, let's get into it. We're here in Austria and Spielberg, the Red Bull Ring. And it is a track that I had quite a bit of success in the past. But... Since 22, it is a struggle for me. The way you have to drive it is not as enjoyable. Turn 1, you have to cut like crazy. In this corner, you need to slide, which we didn't do here. This looked more like a normal corner, how you would expect it to be driven. Um, but yeah, it's one of the worst tracks on the game for me. At the moment, so not really a big fan. But anyways, we need to get our job done. Everyone is in the same boat, some might like it, some might not, some get along with it, some might not. And at the moment I still need to figure out how to sort this problem out. So in Q1 at the moment, my first lap, it was a bit rough, it was still okay-ish. I mean, it's not fast, but, you know, with a little bit more pace here and there, a few less mistakes, and we would have already had a decent banker, which would have maybe been enough to get <laughs> us safely into Q2. But we have to go again because we're in P16, so right out of the drop zone. First guy to be out. So we're going on our final lap. And it was meant to rain at the end of the session. It didn't yet. So we get another clean lap in. And turn one, I'm trying to cut it. Get a little bit of understeer and go into the sausage cup. So we lose already half a tenth. Again from our delta here. And uh, heading into the hairpin, I did not get the rotation that I needed. And I actually brake too late. You could see that I overshot it. It was a bad mistake. Without overshooting it, I think it would have been more or less the same. Um, or maybe gained a little bit because of track evolution. Say hi to Jano in this point. And uh, another terrible corner here. I was just like not on the limit, not feeling it, not comfortable with the car. And uh, yeah, you could tell even here another snap. Then, not purple in middle sector, don't believe that. If I would have been purple with that, I would question the pace of the others. Because that was a nightmare lap. Every single corner had mistakes. I think this one was actually okay. But now, in the final corner, I overshot it and I actually spun. I actually spun. It was I fully my man. mistake. Oh. I raised my hand. I just Sorry. drove bad. I didn't do a great job. Fuck. And that's it. That's the story. Out of Q1. P17. Oh Terrible. my god, yeah. <laughs> Annoying. That's a really, really bad one. But yeah, that's just how it is. It's so just not with it. Even just completing that lap, oh my god, we might have actually been through left. because... I mean, it's from not last, that I think, far off P19. from P15. Yeah, we had a lot of lap time in that lap. Josh and also Q2, made it through. P1 is Arona, P2 is Jano, yeah, and actually... That's the same in Q3, I forgot to blend in Q3, but we are heading for the race, we are P17 starting on the mediums, a lot of us are, uh, or a lot of the others around are on hearts. So we get actually a decent launch off the line. And we're trying to make up ground here as we need to, to avoid a collision here and get a side pod spin. Um, we cut the corner, so this should get removed. From the stewards as it was just a racing incident and i get a really bad run down the straight so look is also going past but we take a great line here we're avoiding the chaos and we go back past dylan and lucas now we're trying to line up and move on tom mainly because of course we need to use our tire advantage at the start and so we do we go around the outside no contact made here great overtaking then there's big chaos ahead i have no clue what happened but we gain so many positions, we are up into P11, there's a safety car, which is amazing. This is amazing for us. I mean, May it? for everyone, what? just calming it this down happened. again. Recover your ERS. I think Nico is going to pit. So we are moving up are you into here? P10. And so we are from P17 already up into the point scoring positions in lap 2. And now in lap 3, the safety car came in. So start of lap 4, clean, uh, green lights again, green flag racing that was not these uh, that was not bad uh, a little snap here but there's case that we're not gonna push too hard because people are always gonna push more on the safety car finishing lap when it comes in so tom goes for a really late dive bomb 
they make a bit of contact. And with that, we are closer without even using our ERS so far. And uh, so we are lining up the move here. I was surprised that Tom was not defending the inside more. And we make a little bit of contact here. Little push. We get past of Tom and Ruben in one go. So, yeah. Decent start from P17 to P8 within four laps. I did not expect that so easily. Um, but anyways, we are taking it. We're in a good position. Drivers ahead are all on hard. And now this is exactly what's going to happen every single lap. Um, we're just lifting coasting into the hap and everyone is super slow. It's just a train. And if you break this, like usually it goes wrong. Nick. The point is if you push up ERS, everyone's okay. going to burn that, like the car that you're attacking. And so there's no point in really going for a move here. And Tom does it and nearly takes out Bari and with that he also spins. You could already read that was so that this obvious. is going Fucking hell, man. And uh, yeah, so we're not getting overtaken. We're just chilling, uh, waiting until the pit window. P17, we wanted to go Please, in, but Jano yeah. was going in. So yes. we had to stay out another lap, which was unfortunate. Um, but Jano had a priority, of course, as he was ahead in the train. And so, yeah, we're staying out for another one. And maybe we can do something here against Simon when Barry goes past, but we don't get the best turn one then I also stopped using ERS because I felt like it would be quite a squeeze to overtake him and in the end it was a better decision to not go for a move because we are pitting this lap but as a little spoiler Simon is not as you can see and he's even flashing so um, low on ERS super close to crossing the line there that was really really close would have nearly been a penalty and uh, yeah, so we're heading in to go for the hard compound. Barry's gonna go for the medium, of course. But we will have good tires in the end. And um, yeah, decent pit stop, 2.2. Quite usual. Let's see where we are gonna come out. We are definitely gonna be at the back of this pack that is coming around the first corner. But we are still in a good position. We are P18 now. We've already done our pit stop. A lot of people still have to pit. We are definitely in for a top five, top three position here. At the end of the race, if we manage as well. And uh, the guys ahead are also fighting. I think Josh is already flashing with his ERS. He's the Red Bull leading this um, pack ahead of us. Going around this corner, you can see Josh there, yeah. And he was low on ERS already. Already in this lap, he was definitely flashing. You could see that into the hairpin. What did he start on? Shoot it a little bit. Um, but right now, I'm just chilling and uh, seeing what these guys are doing. Again, trying to not use too much ERS while still... Because everyone was pushing at this point to get closer and undercut the front guys. Because they are going long, of course, and catching back up to the pack oh, of uh, Thomas and whoever okay. did pit. So yeah, you can see Ruben and Josh are pushing like crazy both are flashing so i knew on the straight it would be an easy okay, pass if they continue doing whatever flashing. they are doing right now um and uh yeah they're still going side by side pushing each other like crazy and uh room is going left right left right oh, i don't man. know where to go in this corner it's impossible There's to no avoid way, it's man. of course the unluckiest corner and you can hear my I'm reaction i'm so sick of this league man i am not having it I mean, in this occasion, Ruben and Josh, there was, I'm I so guess, a racing it, incident. Man. Just unfortunate that I got caught up in in the uh, in this. But, like, where am I yeah. supposed to go in that situation? There's literally nothing I can do, man. I don't think I could have avoided it. There was no chance. And on top of all of this, I'm going in this lap to replace my front wing. Get the mediums on. Hope for a late safety car so we can maybe pit for softs or something. And Tom mainly left the session, so he gave up, we did not. And now look ahead. Tom Mainly's car and goes in the blocked. pits. It's ghosted, oh, you can stop. see I could drive through it. But, oh yeah. I'm losing 10 seconds. <laughs> what have I done that in F123 so far? <laughs> Something just goes against me. I <laughs> feel like, I don't know. Am I doing something wrong here? What did I do wrong in this race? 
I don't get it. But yeah, now we are getting into a part of the race where everything's already looking super, super unfortunate. And in the top left, you can see the Williams driver pitting. And just to take this away already, I've seen quite a few of my chat going into the driver's his stream and hating on him. Which I understand that people that support me also share the frustrations that I have. But please, guys, if I have something going on with another driver in terms of something on track, an incident or whatever, keep it between me and him and don't hate on them. Please, I don't want to have a community that does what is he doing, man? stuff like that. But you can see him. The guy only did pit. So don't hate on him, please. If you do, you are not part of this community. This is so unnecessary. Right? I don't stand for that. But he was literally just pitting to hold me up. To piss me off. You can see here, he's on fresh softs. He's gonna be much faster. And even the lap before, he let me pass again. He didn't even use his DRS. He was slowing down in the DRS zone to get the DRS and he didn't use it. What and he here doing, he's man? also like moving again Come on, on the straight when I was already alongside. Nonsense, and yeah, it's just... Just go ahead and drive your I do not stint, get man. It. I don't see the point of doing this. And I think this is really disrespectful if you... If you're a guy that is trying to, like, even after all of the nonsense that has happened to me in this race. I mean, he doesn't know at this point, but I'm still not giving up. I'm still not a guy that leaves the session like many others. And then there's something like this. where, And if you're telling me he's not doing this intentional, you must really... Go and see a doctor. What is because he doing, man? Fully intentional. Every single bit of it. The only plan here is to piss me off, hold me up and mess around with me. Nothing else. This is the only intention. And yeah, I don't know what to say anymore. I I hope this gets punished. I will report it to PSGL. I'm, every single week something stupid happens. This is just one of the peak moments. And you can see Fabrizio Dino also behind 3.5 seconds. We already lost four times into the hairpin with whatever Dylan did there. And now look at my throttle and what he's doing. I don't get it. Look at the Delta also to Fabrizio. Then again, look what's going on here with my the throttle with his throttle, throttle in the next where. corner. Look at this. Like... I have no comments, man. Come on, honestly, f*** PSGL. And I'm sorry for this the outburst here against so PSGL. Look at him! Every single week, and nothing is being done. Every but single week, there's stupid incidents. But nobody's getting race bans, because this league is just for I think losers, the penalties man. are not harsh enough. Some things don't even get penalized. I know it's down to the drivers, but... Every single week. The league is the own... Like the stewards Bunch of and the league are idiots. the only people that can actively try and change the drivers. By punishing them harshly. And, um... I don't know what to say. <laughs> Come on, man. Again, don't go at Dylan. Um, that's not what I want. And yeah, this is pretty much it. So I will leave you with my end reaction to what happened. I hope right. you all enjoyed this video. And yeah, sorry for the angry outburst. Um, hope you all have a great day. Cheers for the support in this stream. Cheers for your love, guys. I will see you in the next one. Much love, you Marcel. Peace. Insane. Should have. I don't know. I think we should have stick to the plan. That was the mistake. I would have never been involved with these idiots. Yeah, but I started P17. I'm I'm not expecting to win the race from where I started, but I would have probably finished top five easily with this if we would have hit it on target lap before safety car. I'm quite sure because that's when Thomas pit. Both like this is the host permanently until the end of the season. 
This is a choke, man. This is such a choke. 